guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi you're welcome my name is nelly and i hope you do end up subscribing to the channel also i'd like to thank every new subscriber i really appreciate it and i hope you do enjoy your stay here in today's video i'm going to be talking about the progress i've made so far since i, I came into the u.s and i'm also going to be talking about how i got how and when i got my ssn my green card and how i also got my job right but before that i've been getting a lot of you know questions um pretty much similar questions like i just know that people are people and people don't like to read because people ask questions that i have probably already answered in the comment section or in one of my videos so that's okay i'm just going to answer those questions one more time so if you see me looking down it's because i have my questions right here so please pardon me for that also before i get into the video please and please again do not come into my dms or do not message me on my other socials being rude to me telling me about how i'm neglecting you and how i'm answering some questions and leaving some questions that's probably because what you're asking me i've already answered <laughs> i've already answered it but i don't mind answering it again but it doesn't mean that be rude to me please if you are rude to me i'll block you one time okay so please and please again there's a way to go about things and if you feel like you have to dm me on my socials to get answers just do it politely and you get the nicest version of me you you have ever seen okay so yeah that's about it also every information i give is based on my experience and what i know in my visa category so if you ask me a question outside my visa category which is ir2 and i have an answer to it i'm going to of course answer you but if i don't have an answer to, to it i won't reply you because i don't want to give you like wrong information or something like that so please do not get mad if i don't answer your question that is outside my ir2 and then there, there are some people in the comment section that really help because if i if i'm able to answer i see that some some people answer so thank you to all of you guys out there helping me out <laughs> i really appreciate it and so yeah let's get into today's video the first question is what did my appointment letter look like i really don't <laughs> understand <laughs> how i mean okay what did my appointment letter look like it looked like a letter i'm just going to put a screenshot of what the letter looked like it came to me in my email so i'm going to put a screenshot of how that looked like right on the screen so that you guys can see okay the next question is dhl uh payment so with a dhl thing all you need to do is to create an account right with dhl on their website as for fees pick up i did pick up so i didn't pay anything but if you want delivery they deliver to kumase akra takade and it obviously comes at a, at a fee so yeah if you want delivery everything is on their website if you want delivery there's a fee for it and if you want to pick up too there's no fee okay the next question is the facebook link and group name okay so i really <laughs> i really got this a lot so the thing is the whatsapp group for some reason we are not able to access the link okay like i don't know why we're not able to access the link so what i have done is i've i'm going to put the link to the facebook group in the comment section so anybody that wants access to the facebook group just use that link and it will take you there okay and i'm also going to put the name of the group and i'm going to also put a screenshot of the group name right on the screen so that you know the exact group you are you are you're joining even if you use the link okay so i think that settles it the next question is my visa category and uh, was it ir2 or f11 and did it change okay so first of all i'm more than 21 years obviously at the time that i filed my i was under 21 which makes my visa category ir2 but because of covid and everything at the time i got my appointment letter i went for my interview and everything i was more than 21 years old but it didn't change my visa category it was still ir2 because it wasn't my fault that covid happened so my visa category is ir2 and it's not f11 okay next question 
visa fee and okay so someone asked me yeah i'm just going to be putting the questions on the screen if i paid any visa fee so i didn't pay any visa fee because um the best my petitioner had already paid for everything in the filing process so i don't know about visa fee i don't know how much it is i'm going to try and get how much it is and put it while i'm editing this video you know yeah and uh someone asked if you need a petitioner for my visa category yes my visa category is ir2 so i keep looking here and here pardon me i'm still getting used to looking into the camera anyway <laughs> so my visa category is ir2 which is child unmarried child under 21 years of a u.s citizen or lawful permanent resident so yes obviously you need a petitioner for that okay the petitioner has to be your mom or your dad that is for my category okay yes okay so that is, that is it for um questions that people ask me the, the questions that you know came up frequently yeah so now let's get into my ssn so i got my ssn exactly two weeks after i arrived in the u.s and uh that's it about the ssn <laughs> i got this exactly two weeks after i arrived and with a green card so before i got the green card i i got an email like like twice telling me that i have to pay a green card fee which was 200 dollars and then a little over a week or less than a week after that i got my green card which in total is um i got my green card like almost two months after i arrived it wasn't up to two months it was almost two months after i arrived so that's it about my green card and did i attend an interview for to get a green card no i think the only interview i i attended was the interview i went for in ghana the visa appointment interview that was it i didn't attend any other interview again and now let's get into how i got my job so i started applying for a job the moment i got my ssn <laughs> because the ssn if you don't know what ssn means ssn is the social security number right so it is what allows you to work in the united states right so i i started applying for jobs the moment i got my ssn because i was like every other children i can do i can do it while i'm still here because it's not like i'm living here anytime soon anyway so <laughs> i i started applying for jobs the moment i got my ssn uh i used um indeed.com ziprecruiter.com i also use linkedin for the applications and but for my experience what worked really fast for me was applying directly on the company website so if you use indeed and then you see that this company is hiring this company is hiring instead of applying um through indeed i just went um straight to like i typed the, co the company site or the company's name in google and then it took me to their site and then you go to their careers and then apply directly to the company <laughs> instead of through indeed so that was what i was doing and that is how i got my job i got a response from one job i i applied for in linkedin in about a week and but unfortunately for me it was like the location was just too far for me right and i had now come in and it was just too far so i couldn't accept that job that job offer but after two weeks i got a job i got an offer from where i'm working right now and i had an interview so i went for the interview and i got the job but all in all it took about a month for <laughs> the hiring process to be done a month because i went for the interview and i got a response after one week and then after that we did a background check right to see if you are really allowed to work in the u.s if you have no criminal background or and etc so that is how that is why it took that is why it took that long yeah so it took about two weeks for the background check and then after that i had um the training which also took about 
three days two days ish yeah but i started work at the end of october and i got the the offer at the end of september which makes it <laughs> one whole month for the hiring process so that is it about how i got my job i don't know if this video has been helpful but i hope that it has been helpful and if you have any more questions please put them in the comment section and i'll answer like i always do to my best capability and if you haven't noticed i got a mic <laughs> so yeah i i have a vlog coming up so thank you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up post lovely comments in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye